So you wanna become a front-end developer. Well, you've come to the right place, so let's talk, because that's what this video is all about. We will attack becoming a front-end developer from all different directions, and no matter where you're at, show you the different opportunities out there that you could take to achieve your dream. We'll start with some of the basics, look at what front-end developers actually do, their responsibilities, examine a real-life job posting in the market now to see what those are like, and then talk about some of the juicier stuff like salary progression and expectations that you should have. Then we'll talk about what I believe the best four tactics are right now to become a front-end developer, whether you're going to a four-year school or you're looking for other ways to build your portfolio to get you where you wanna be. So let's start by getting a few things straight first. What does a front-end developer actually do? Front-end developers get to do some pretty cool things. A front-end developer is primarily responsible for the outward visitor-facing aspects of a website. Front-end developers must be a crossover between individuals who can code and individuals with an eye for design and an ability to understand how users view things to optimize them for effectiveness. This is in comparison to a back-end developer who focuses on the behind-the-scenes work or a full-stack developer which has the ability to combine both back and front end and manage both sides. Let's look at a real life job posting to see what the market is demanding right now out of these positions. This is an entry level remote job posting from Tria Health, which is a company that provides personalized plans to help patients reduce their costs and improve their health. We can see a few key elements looking at this posting. The posting with Tria Health showcases a need to be familiar with the main programming languages, HTML, JavaScript, etc. Later in the video, we'll look at how to actually learn these for free or paid ways to boost your competency to another level. The job posting is looking for someone who can understand user interface concept, proficient skills with Git version control and agile development, intangible skills, of course, such as work ethic, problem solving skills, and a get it done attitude, and of course, the ability to lift up to 10 pounds. If you take one glance at the TRIA website, you can see the current work their front-end developers are doing to make the website seem so clean, with images smoothly popping in and out and text appearing as you scroll. This is the type of work you would be in on a team doing, and if this looks cool or exciting to you, you're in the right place. Now, if you're wondering how much a position like the one we just looked at pays, I've got some salary information and what you should expect early on in your career. With under a year of experience, so beginner level front-end developers, which you probably are or considering being one if you're watching this video, you're looking at about a $68,000 a year pay scale. Now that can of course depend on where you live in the country, but you can reasonably expect into the 80s to $100,000 plus by the middle of your career or potentially earlier on if you advance quickly. So now that we have some of the basics in front of us, let's look at the four best ways to actually get your foot in the door and start achieving on your journey in this career path. I've identified four that will help especially beginners, but no matter where you are in this path, boost your skill set or improve your candidacy. Let's talk the most direct path that everybody is going to think of when they talk about career development. First is earning a four-year degree in computer science or a similar field. There are some areas of study that are absolutely critical that you should go out and try to achieve the best college that you can get into. This is not necessarily one for becoming a front-end developer. You can go to a competent school and still expect a high job placement rate and to earn a lot of money coming out. I'm not saying completely ignore academics in your college decision. That should be a real part. But considering a few factors such as lifestyle, cost, and your degree in your decision, I think is a really wise choice. This four-year degree though will cost you. Here are the numbers ranging from private to public in-state schools on average per year that students are paying. Consider that when you multiply by a four-year degree. Fortunately, front-end developers make a good salary. Not all majors can say that, but for front-end developers, you have a great chance to make this a very strong investment. Now, say this path isn't for you. Here are three other critical ways that you can actually achieve the same goal for a lot less cost and may fit better with where you are right now. First, let's confront the obvious. You're going to have to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript at some point. So why not go ahead and learn it yourself? 
teach yourself to learn these critical coding languages. Fortunately, there are a lot of free resources available to you right now. If you know where to look, I'll give you three highly rated courses and everything I talk about, I'll link for free, not affiliated with any of them, in the description so you can check them out more. The first is gonna be Free Code Camp. It's a software that gives you a step-by-step -step process and tasks to complete as you learn. This is good, but Khan Academy also offers another coding surface. It's got an intro to HTML and CSS. This course allows you to make web pages, giving you audio learning from a teacher, but also gives you challenges to work on coding yourself. Finally, Frontend Masters is another highly rated coding bootcamp that has 21 hours of video material. If you'd like to continue to sign up and learn more, there are paid options, but the first 21 hours will get you off to a really good start. Some of the best online resources are free. If you're new or still beginning and wanna brush up on a few things, there's always opportunities to learn. The third option is directly career focused. Let's start building a portfolio that you can show to others. While degrees are good, knowledge and projects are better. They'll be your best friends in this field in getting a job. People wanna see what you can do and hear about what you have done. Building yourself a portfolio can show off your technical coding skills. As a prospecting front-end developer, you're not gonna have an extensive portfolio with multiple clients you've done big business for. If you did, you wouldn't be watching this video. You can get creative by designing example projects that show off what you've learned how to do. A great example for this is to build your own resume into a personal website. Use this to bring all of the design and coding skills that you know to highlight yourself. That's a great tool to get started. After that, continue adding to your website or build out sample projects showing off what you already know how to do. Eventually, you'll have a small library of stuff that you've proven to have worked on and can talk about your process of learning and going through to create these things in an interview. Finally, if you're looking for something to juice your resume a little bit more, consider getting a professional certification. You can do this to add a brand name onto your resume, show tangible efforts towards improving your skills, if you still feel like you need a little bit more after building out your own portfolio and taking online boot camps, professional certificates are more 360 approaches to learning to do front end development. Professional certificates will walk you through the basics, but also teach you job interview skills and good ones will actually have relationships with companies who are committed to hiring from the pool of people who have completed the professional certificates. A few good examples of top rated professional certificates in the field of front end development are one, the Meta Front End Developer course by Coursera that will walk you through coding basics in a six month full service course. Another one is Cornell's Front End Web Development Certificate. Udemy also has a great web developer bootcamp to look into. These are paid options and they will be a step up both in quality, but the extensive nature of the content that you'll be learning compared to the free options we discussed earlier. All of these options are layered steps that you can work through to complete a really good profile for yourself going in interviews. If you have any questions about these or have taken some of these steps for yourself, let me know down in the comments or share your own experience. Becoming a front end developer isn't an easy task, but if you set your mind to it, it could be really worth it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.